give it to Leo. Um, well, um, let's. It's the end of the year, um, so I wanted to talk about um, the most unbelievable moments of 2009. Um, first off, our celebrity deaths. So many happened. Um, let's name a few. Uh, DJ AM, he died. Uh, Michael Jackson, he died. All I know is I want some propofol right now. I can't sleep. Uh, Farrah Fawcett, she died from cancer. And I love how, seriously, they put her on a reality TV show, like reality documentary of her death. <laughs> um, that infomercial guy with the OxyClean. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, that Star Search guy from, you know, the 80s and early 90s, even though I was too young for Star Search. Yeah, I was like five at the time. <laughs> Oh, and then more, most recently, Brittany Murphy. I did not know she was in Clueless, and then I found out, oh, she's the girl that moved from New York to L.A. Okay, the VMAs. Of course, my favorite performance of that night was Lady Gaga's. Can't read my, can't read my, no, you can't read my poker face. I'm the flashing of all these lights, so I'm afraid that the fame will take my life. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. And then the picture where she hangs up. Eye blood, blood, fake blood all over her face. Dead. <laughs> all over, yeah, all over that. Um, oh. And then Kanye West, thanks to him taking away the microphone from Taylor Swift. Kanye West is now declared a douchebag by the president. <laughs> Yeah. But I think it's kind of funny because I think Taylor Swift should give Kanye West a muffin basket just because her fame just got a little bit higher thanks to him. Ugh. Oh, and then in this um, one idol group in Japan, one of their members ran around naked in a park from his apartment all the way down to the park, like which is probably across the street, um, Siyoshi Kusanagi from SNAP, um, yeah, he ran around naked and, uh, he got arrested for public indecency. And he asked, like, what's wrong with me being naked to the police? So he was a little bit belligerent, but he was drunk. Okay, this kind of shit will only happen in the U.S. I cannot believe it happened in Japan. The only reason why it would, we only, we would believe that is because we have seen it done in America. Like, with celebrities. Lindsay Lohan. And, like, with sex tapes. Paris Hilton. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> um. Well, at least it gives international press to the group. Oh, another thing that happened in 2009, which is amazing. Twitter. Twitter became famous. Twitter became famous. No joke. If you don't believe me, it became famous. But apparently it's losing its popularity from what I heard. So, yeah. But it became popular in Japan in the summer. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, and then finally, AKB48, that super idol group with, um... Part of the 48. It's a, it's a big idol group in Japan. There are 48 members of AKB48, and then then there's SDN48 and SKE48, and like all those members together make 104 with the research students and the unders from SK, SDN48. Well, um, AKB48, um, they spent their spring in Paris performing and their summer in New York City performing. And they spent their summer in New York City just before the release of their single out, um, their single River, which is the newest single, which they're gonna perform, which they are gonna perform at Kohaku Tagasin um, on New Year's Eve, even though it's showing right now in Japan, because it's already New Year's Eve at this time that I'm making this video. Um, yeah, AKB48. 
And um, they went to par Paris, France, just right after the release of their single Iwake Maybe. But their biggest single of the year was definitely, um, their biggest single was Namida Sufuraizu. And then uh, another group which made big single, a huge single over the summer was Garu Nexo Doa with Infinity. It's an amazing song. I have it on my iPod. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now. Um, please subscribe and yeah. <laughs>